Hello and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and in today's video I want to go over my top 5 special vehicle slash weaponized vehicle predictions for the 2019 December DLC. So just before we get into the video, if you missed my previous video on the top 10 car predictions uh, for this DLC then make sure you go check that out. But at the start of that video, I did a quick sort of update where we are on that update. And so if you missed that, I'll just quickly update you again. Basically, we're expecting the December 2019 DLC to be a casino-related heist DLC. So I think it's going to function kind of like how the Doomsday Heist was. In the Doomsday Heist, obviously, there was a lot of weaponized vehicles. We got the Stromberg, we got the Deluxo. We got the massive rocket truck. We got loads of cool weaponized slash special vehicles in that update. And I think if we get a casino heist DLC, we're going to get some very similar cars to that. So I want to go over my top five vehicle predictions today. And let me know in the comment section if you agree with these or if there's any other really cool cars that I haven't thought of. So let's start off with my first car. I'm going to start off quite subtly, um, but this is going to be a big vehicle. It's the submarine from the first Avenger film, from uh, the Captain America first Avenger film. So if you've not seen this film, basically um, there's a bad guy and he steals some like special potion that makes Captain America really strong. And he's trying to get away in this submarine that you can see now. And it's a really cool submarine, actually. Um, we haven't had any updates to the submarines in GTA since the game launched. So we have the Kraken submarine and just the normal submersible submarine. And neither of them are very fast, neither of them are weaponized, and neither of them are really very good. We did get the Stromberg in the Doomsday Heist, which is a weaponized submarine. That was really cool, but I would love to see just a regular submarine, but with missiles on, and possibly a jet feature as well. So the next one is a little bit quirky, but I wanted to throw it out there because Rockstar have taken inspiration from cars in the past. Um, so the next two cars we're going to be looking at are both from the Cars films. And the first one we have is a rocket tow truck. So this is actually tow mater um, with the rockets on the back. And we don't actually have any tow trucks in GTA Online at the moment. They are in single player, but for some reason, Rockstar don't want to add them to GTA Online. But if we got um, a tow truck in GTA Online, it would have to be special at this point. If they just added it now... As a regular car, people would not really take to it. So if we got a rocket tow truck, that would be really cool. And I could see this being used in the heist um, if we have some sort of uh, money truck. And say the money truck's broken down and a regular tow truck is not strong enough. So they fit the tow truck with rocket boosters so it can actually tow it. Or it could get away really fast. That would be really cool. It's sort of a quirky one, but I would really like to see a rocket tow truck in GTA Online. The next one is also from Cars, and this is the Rapid GT Classic Aqua. So this picture is clearly Finn McMissile. This is from the very start of the Cars 2 film. So if you've not seen it, spoilers, uh, basically... He's supposed to be like a James Bond character. He jumps off a massive oil platform into the water. And everyone thinks he's just going to drown in the water because he's a car. But then he turns into a hydrofoil. And we don't have any hydrofoils in GTA Online. And so we have two amphibious cars disregarding the Stromberg. We have the Blazer Aqua and the Technical Aqua. So I would really like to see a new amphibious car in this DLC. And the Rapid GT Classic, if you didn't know, is sort of the Aston Martin V8 looking car. Uh, which is sort of what Finn McMass Missile is, kind of. So if they use that car and you could turn it into a hydrofoil, that would be a really cool car in my opinion. 
The next car, we've got sort of two cars here because they're, they're the similar kind of thing, um, but they're from two different places in the world. Um, we've got Lola, first of all, from the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV series, and we've got the hover car from The Simpsons. So, if it wasn't clear from the photos, both of these cars can hover. Uh, Lola can actually fly, like, properly. Um, the hover car, I think, can only hover. Uh, now, we already kind of have a hover car, the Deluxo, um, but that is quite an overpowered car, so I'd like to see something, maybe that couldn't fly, it could only, like, hover above the ground, so it couldn't fly like the Deluxo can, but it has the hover ability of the Deluxo. Now, I could see Rockstar adding this because it's a really cool car, well, both of these are really cool cars, um... And the work is already done for them. They've made the hover ability for the Deluxo, so it wouldn't be that hard for them to implement that code for these cars. So there's two more cars really there. I know this is a top five list, but I thought they're very similar, so I'll put them in the same section. And the final one we have, you're going to see this photo and you're going to go, yeah, he's put that on just for a joke. And yeah, I have put it on for a joke, but I I could see Rockstar doing something like this. At the moment, they're adding some really cool, quirky cars, like the um, new Rampant Rocket trike. That's a really cool bike. Okay, the handling's terrible, but it's a really cool and quirky thing. And it's the kind of vehicle that people want to buy in GTA. And if we got a tank Panto in GTA Online, or a tank smart car, people would buy that car. Every person in GTA Online would buy that car. It doesn't matter if it had bad performance because it is just something really cool. And the last time we saw a tracked vehicle was in the Arena War DLC where we got the the new sort of tank, the Ripsaw tank. So Rockstar have already got the tracked object in GTA Online, so all they would have to do is modify the existing Panto slightly and add the tracks, and every person would buy this car. So that is going to be it for this video. It was only a short one. That is my top five special vehicle predictions for our 2019 DLC. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, leave it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comment section as well, is there any other vehicles you can think of that I haven't that would be really cool in this DLC? And also, do you agree with my list? But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.